All month long, we have been celebrating Black History Month here at 5 News. And tonight, the Washington Regional Washington County Historical Society hosted the U of A Chancellor as part of its Black History Month activities. Dr. Charles Robinson is the first black chancellor at the university. 5 News reporter Rachel Williams tells us he spoke about his plans for the university. And we felt strongly that this would be a good coming out party for him tonight to come and speak, especially during Black History Month, as he is the first black African American to lead the University of Arkansas, and also one of the very few uh, African Americans to lead a land grant university in the United States of America. Dr. Robinson leads the university's land grant mission, which provides research-based programs and resources for residents across the state. And so, if the idea or if the, if the mission is service, then we have to make sure we're doing everything we can to maximize our, our serving of the people of the state. In his speech, he talked about improvements in freshman enrollment, parking issues, and most importantly, creating a plan to keep costs under control so the university can strengthen the ability of students who come from lower income households. No student who has the ability and has demonstrated success in high school should be denied the opportunity to attend because they can't afford. That's something we need to work on, and there are lots of ways that we intend to approach it. Although the chancellor made history at the U of A, he wants to make his mark in a different way. The history that matters to me is the history that changes lives. And so I think we are going to create that history. I do think it says something about the University of Arkansas when a person of color can rise to its highest position it says that we're an institution that values uh, people who work hard, who are willing to, you know, do what they need to do to be successful. In Fayetteville, covering news where you live, Rachel Williams, 5 News.